Firebrand Garissa Township Member of Parliament Edan Duale has been stripped off the prestigious majority leader position after surviving the first purge. Duale will lose all the packs that come with the office in what was a culmination of the Garissa Township Member of Parliament falling out of favor with the president. Duale has now fallen from a one-time blue-eyed boy, government defender, to now Garissa Township MP without power and influence. Samogina has more. <laughs> He has fallen to the political equivalent of a second wave. Like a lamb to the slaughter, Edan Duale scaled the steps of KICC for the last time as majority leader in the National Assembly. Duale was a marked man attending his own funeral ceremony. The petition to sink the Garissa town MP was moved by Laikipia woman representative Ketwa Ruguru and seconded by her Muranga counterpart Sabina Chege, bringing an end of Duale's seven-year era as Jubilee's most trusted man in the National Assembly. You know, I, had, I didn't have an accident today, so I don't know why you use the word survive. That he pushed through government's agenda and defended the Jubilee administration, Dwale was unrivaled and he was ever unapologetic about his hardline ways. The government has never lost in his leadership. And so on performance of the duty, he has done very well. Insider syndicate Dwale was served the purge two weeks ago at State House after he personally pleaded with the president to save him the sack. With the president's hands tied, the president's men deployed a strategy to have the MPs initiate a vote of no confidence petition against the majority leader. This way, Duale's removal will not be the president's doing. At today's meeting, the president took cognizance of the stellar job undertaken by Duale as majority leader. But having spared him the sack at status meeting, Duale's empire fell on Monday. Perceived a fence-sitter, Duale has always been cautious not to meddle or take sides in President Uhuru Kenyatta versus Deputy President William Ruto tough wars. But Duale's political posturing appears to have orchestrated his downfall. At the launch of the BBI report at the Bombers of Kenya, Duale nearly opposed the BBI initiative. Duale was straight shooting aimed at the president. You should not allow a section of the leadership and bureaucrats to sabotage and divide this country. They are in the civil service, they are in the political class, they are around you, they might be your friends. Appearing to undermine the president's handshake deal, Duale is on record stating the deal between the president and opposition chief Raila Odinga was not a deterrent to DP Ruto's presidential quest. In what to anandi, what to abode la ufa, nini ndio mna fight when ya rusi. Nini ndio when ya rusi 2022. Duale once spelling doom to the handshake deal. The handshake has collapsed with the speech of yesterday. There's no handshake anymore. We don't want a referendum. They want a referendum. So, you know, we can't go to bed together. While the Garissa Township MP kept digging his own hole, the president's camp silently watched him dance around his own grave. Burying him at the right time, not even overtures from his community could save him. If for any reason there is a feeling that we have gone wrong, we want to tell you, we have not intended to be wrong. The former majority leader taking on Twitter to highlight his achievements, Duale indicating that he was able to ensure that all bills for implementation of the constitution, financial legislation to implement devolution and provide services to the people of Kenya, and bills to implement the Big Four agenda were enacted. Saying that he was leaving the office of the majority leader with a smile, Duale indicated public positions are not to be personalized and you can only do your best once appointed to such positions. The curtain falls on a bare-knuckled politician who packed a punch in defending government, but whose main undoing was that Kenyan political proverb of choices made having consequences. Abrasive and brazen, the former majority leader walks away bruised from a position he has fiercely held and forcefully defended government position. Having survived the first purge, Dwelly appears to have fallen out of favor with the system, occasioning his ouster from a position he has had a firm grip for over seven years. Sam Citizen TV. Nairobi.